Uh, let me jump into it to show you how I set it up. I've already had a, a, a lot of pictures backed up to this one, but for this video here, I'm gonna set it up completely from scratch. So I'm gonna create a new folder on this hard drive. Let's just call it iPhone picture backup, okay? I'm gonna go like that and double click here. Right click, create a new folder. Today's March, March 2023. So that whatever pictures I back up and videos I back up today, I'll put in this folder. And in the future, when I, um, I fill up my phone again with uh, images and videos, I can create uh, chronological folders um, and keep things organized like that. Now, again, you don't need an external drive. You can simply create these folders on your local drive, uh, on your computer, on your desktop, wherever you like. Uh, no big deal, okay? So these steps, they have to be done just once to get the configuration going, and then it's set up forever, okay? So we'll go into Control Panel in Windows, go to Network and Internet, go to Network and Sharing Center, and then go to Change Advanced Sharing Settings, and then you have to make sure that Turn On Network Discovery is on. You have to make sure that Turn On File and Printer Sharing is on, okay? So I already had that on, so that's great. Boom, now the next thing we do is we go to users, okay? So I'll show you how to do that. So go into settings, go into settings in Windows. Okay, go into users, select add, edit, or remove other users. Okay, and here under other users, hit the plus, and then we'll go through these steps, okay? I don't have this person's sign on information, click that. Add a user without a Microsoft account. Okay, click that. Okay, let's call this user PIX. Okay, P I C S. Make a password. Let's use everyone's favorite password, the word password. Okay, P A S S W O R D. Okay, P A S S W O R D. Okay, security questions. Uh, I don't really care about these ones. Whatever. Boom, boom, boom. Next. Okay. So we have a local account created called PIX. Great. Uh, now we can close this off. I'm gonna to navigate to my external drive back to where we created this folder. I'm gonna go ahead and right click on iPhone picture backup. Okay, I'm gonna right click on that. I'm gonna to go to properties, I'm gonna select sharing. And I'm gonna select share here, okay? And from the drop down here, I'm gonna select the user we created, PIX. Okay, I'm gonna select add. I'm going to hit share. So as your folder is shared, great. Done. Close. Okay. So we have our Windows uh, part of it set up. That's all we needed to do. Okay. So it's not too bad. Those were just uh, all the steps. Oh, we're done, ready to go. Now we're going to go over to our iPhone. Okay. Let me bring up my iPhone here. Okay. So I got my iPhone uh, on the screen here. Uh, good to go. Okay. So when you got your iPhone, Okay, swipe down on the screen, and then you're going to look for the Files app. Okay, so you can just type in F-I-L-E-S, select the Files app. It's a, a white icon with a blue folder on it. Okay, so I'm going to select Files. All right. And then in the Files app, on the top right, there's a circle with three dots in it. I'm going to select that circle, and I'm going to go to Connect to Server. Okay. Now here in the server, we're going to put in the IP address of our computer, okay? And again, all these steps, we're just doing them once to set it all up, and then once we're done, it's good to go forever, okay? So what's the IP address of my computer? So again, go to Control Panel, okay? And then select uh, Change Adapter Settings. And then um, uh, my computer, uh, it's uh, wired. Um, it also has a Wi-Fi adapter, but it's not connected uh, right now. And obviously the phone and the computer, they have to be on the same network, okay? They can both be connected to Wi-Fi. In my case, again, the computer is connected to Ethernet. The phone is on Wi-Fi, the same local network here, okay? So um, to find out what IP address your computer has, double click on the active network connection that you may have here. In my case, it's the Ethernet connection. Okay, when you double click that, select details. And you'll see a whole bunch of stuff in here. Now where it says IP for address, okay? You'll wanna take that and put it into the connect to server prompt on your phone, okay? So I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, 
six eight dot one dot seven three. Okay, I'm gonna select connect. And the name, so this is the username that we created. Okay, I'm gonna put PIX, P-I-C-S. Then the password, of course, the word password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. Next. Okay, so here we go. iPhone picture backup, that's the one that we created here and we can see it right through the files app. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and touch that. And here we see our folder March 2023, and it's pretty cool. You can actually, let's say, um, I'll create another folder for next month, March, April 2023. Hit enter, and it uh, in real time you can see uh, the files app picks it up uh, off the network share. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're all set up, and um, so that's the end of the setup on the iPhone and the Windows computer. Okay, so now once you have this set up, it's just a, a function of moving. Uh, moving the pictures over, okay? So I'm gonna grab my phone. Um, here we go, I, I'll navigate to the March 2023 folder because that's where I'll be uh, putting stuff in. Uh, anyway, so I'm on my phone. I'm gonna open up my Photos app, okay? Select my Photos app and go to Recents. So these are all my folders. I don't have a lot of folders, uh, pardon me. I don't have a lot of photos and videos in here right now. Um, however, the videos that I do have in here, uh, they are at um, uh, 4K resolution, 60 frames, so they're actually uh, quite large files, and, um, uh, and, and the photos are here too. Now, I've done this previously when I've had thousands, when I had over a thousand videos and photos in here, and, uh, um, and it worked just the same, okay? so. I'm gonna, let's go ahead and uh, copy and move all my photos and videos from my phone to, uh, to our location, okay? So the way you do that, again, you're in your uh, Photos app, you hit Select, and then with your thumb, you basically uh, select, uh, select them, and then if you scroll up with your other finger, it will auto-select like that for you, okay? And just goes and selects uh, like that. And um, that's all you need to do. Now, when you have thousands of videos and pictures in here, this same select procedure works, okay? And actually, you can select everything very quickly. When you just hit select, and then you scroll really fast, you select the thousand plus uh, pictures and videos in, uh, in just literally a couple seconds, okay? So select everything you wanna move over, okay? Once it's all selected, in the bottom left, hit the share button there the square with the up arrow, and when you select that, scroll down to where it says save to files, okay, so I'm going to select save to files, it does a little preparing, okay, and then when, it, when you're in here on the top left, select on my phone, we want to back out, select browse, back out, okay, and when you're on the screen, select shared, okay, it drops down the uh, the address of uh, where your computer is. I have another one here, um, but uh, make sure you select the one that you added. Okay, you select that, and then here we go. Go to iPhone Picture Backup, the folder you created. I'm going to go ahead and select March 2023. Folder is empty. Okay, I'm looking at Windows here where that folder is. Now I'm going to hit Save. Okay. So the Files app is doing its thing. And we can see right here, Windows Explorer, how all the photos and videos are trickling in into this uh, uh, into this uh, drive folder. Okay, so this process takes a little time, but however, if you have a very strong and robust network, this actually copies at a faster transfer rate than using uh, the Lightning uh, to USB cable. Um, so um, let's just wait for this to finish up. And while it's doing the copying, um, you know, the iPhone will kind of flip from folders empty uh, to showing the files. Um, that's just normal. It's um, as long as in the top right, the circle's spinning and you don't let your phone uh, screen turn off, um, it will keep going. And again, I've done this with thousands of file uh, photos and videos before. And um, it could take uh, quite a long time, you know, up to an hour, even if, it's, it's, if my phone was uh, filled up, I had like over 100 gigs. Um, so just make sure that 
the phone doesn't go to sleep, make sure your computer doesn't go to sleep, um, and then it will actually go through the whole process and, and dump everything. So here we go. You know, it's still copying, but I, I can, you know, double click one of these. Here we go. It copies, it copies the, uh, uh, the video, um, uh, you know, no compression. It's the original uh, quality from the iPhone. Um, and if you, uh, especially if you use the 4K 60 frame per second uh, setting, it, um, uh, it, the files are quite large, but the quality is phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, so the videos, I mean, they copy over, um, and all the uh, quality is retained. And if you're using the 4K 60 frame per second format when you're taking videos on your iPhone, I mean, they, re they really shine. Uh, the, the files are a little bigger. I mean, you can see my videos are like four gigs here, one and a half. Um, you know, but um, if you offload your phone, uh, it works great. Okay, so the uh, copying finished up, and um, it took uh, it took about seven minutes here uh, for a total of let's see here twenty gig, almost twenty gigabytes. Um, so that's not too bad. Uh, all the photos are here. We got ninety two items uh, that confirms uh, with the ninety two items uh, that we saw in the files app. And, and that's about it. So when you're done copying it, you can simply um, do the same thing with selecting all the photos. And then you can go ahead and hit the delete button and delete 92 of your uh, photos and then that clears the memory on your phone and you're good to go. And it's as easy as that. So again, when your photos uh, fill up again, you just repeat the process. And uh, because your shared drive is already set up on your laptop or your computer, you don't have to go through that process again. You don't have to set up your files app anymore. It's just turnkey and uh, ready to go. So the reason why I uh, do this method instead of using iCloud or Amazon Photos or another cloud service is because my family collection of photos has actually grown so large. It's uh, basically at almost five terabytes, okay? So to maintain a five terabyte collection of photos um, on Amazon Photos, for example, that costs 625 bucks a year, okay? And on iCloud, I'm not sure if they even support up to five terabytes. Uh, iCloud Plus, it caps out at two terabytes and that's $13 a month. Okay, so that's, um, oh, what does that come out to? Comes out to, uh, you know, it's actually a little cheaper than Amazon Photos, but it's not a realistic option for me, all right? Because, um, uh, uh, first of all, this wouldn't even contain my entire collection. My collection, my family collection of videos and photos goes all back to uh, 2007. Um, and on Amazon, it, it'd be quite expensive to maintain. And then the other reason, of course, is um, when you're using an external drive, like I've demonstrated, you can actually have a physical backup at your home. You can copy the drive to another drive and have peace of mind knowing that your precious family photos are backed up um, uh, in your home forever. Now I do leverage the clouds a little bit, you know, just to, uh, to share and, and stuff, but as far as my whole uh, collection is concerned, I keep it all um, locally on a drive to have that peace of mind. So there you have it. It's as easy as that. Uh, next time uh, your phone fills up with pictures again or you want to offload them, all you have to do is open up your photos app, select them all again, and uh, uh, throw them over to your files uh, files drive like I just showed on the video. And, um, and there you go. You don't need any wire and it's actually faster. If you have a good network at your home, it's actually faster than using the cable.